Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. You see I'm starting a little bit different now um, because I want to make uh, a kimono that I already made before and as you see of the color it was in a different time <laughs> because then it was my black hour a bit and uh, I really like this kimono. It's, it's very nice to have because it's so versatile and uh, you can wear it any way you like and uh, these sheer ones with long sleeves are very nice I think because I'm the person that always gets chilly when no one thinks it's cold and um, it looks strange then when you put a sweater on when everyone is still with bare arms and uh, I really like then these kimonos to put over because of the long sleeve you have some coverage um, for your arms and also for the, the colder uh, weather at night or something so this is what we're gonna make um it's very simple to do very easy uh, as you know my channel is for beginners but also for more experienced because i don't really like uh, the simple clothing i like when there's something on it that is different that it's uh, looking nice and and uh, more expensive and just the plain things is not really for me but because i explain everything very uh, clear uh, beginners also can just follow my tutorials no problem at all I will tell you exactly how you do something the, the, the techniques or uh, the ways how to do it so when you're a beginner don't be afraid I upload every Monday a new tutorial with a pattern also there is a pattern for free sometimes you just use the basic pattern that I have a tutorial of sometimes we make some adjustments on the pattern and uh, you don't have to buy anything, you don't have to uh, take something, it's just all in the same tutorial. That's why my videos are pretty long, but that makes that you can make the whole garment in that one video and you have everything there. So um, for this bit, this kimono, and I'll show you a bit what it is when we make the pattern, it's easier to see. But it is just a straight down um, kimono straight down blouse the, you'll see the pattern is very simple and uh, from uh, all the way from down all the way to the neckline to the other side there is a bend to finish uh, the seams and that makes it more uh, polished and it's also very uh, simple to do and to use also the sleeves are just plain rectangles this one has this uh, mesh um, material but the one we're gonna make now is just of the same material of the uh, the bodice and what I did here is because this is just a plain rectangle the front that means that your shoulders will hang down very wide because it is hip width uh, what I did is I made some pleats here on the shoulder seam and that means that the shoulder will be a little less wide and then the uh, sleeves won't hang that low because that uh, doesn't wear very comfortable when your sleeves are hanging low because that is really literally hanging and that doesn't feel nice to the shoulder so we put some some uh, pleats in there um, the rest pretty simple you will see it in the pattern and what I did with this one and I think I'll do that with the, the one we're gonna make now too is I put a satin band on it to cinch it in if you want to close it up on the front you can uh, just tie the satin band around you can also make it of the same material if, as your commoning if you have enough fabric but I really like the satin because that gives just a little bit more to your kimono and gives it just a little bit more class to it so I'm gonna do that for my kimono now too uh, for the length you can do whatever you like um, I don't have that much fabric so I hope I can make it as long as this one you can also make it way longer down to knee length or even floor length if you like that it's just the same just make your pattern longer and I'll tell you when we make the pattern how you do that but it's pretty easy pretty simple to do but with a really nice result and I'm sure you will use this uh, kimono a lot because it's, it's as I said very versatile so let's go on to the tutorial of the pattern oh and of course if you like my videos please subscribe we would like to have more people on our channel uh, that love sewing and we like to spread uh, the, the pleasure of sewing so please subscribe and share my videos if you like them so for the pattern you can use your basic pattern if you have that already if you don't have it you don't really need it now because you will see it is really simple so you can also draw just by hand when you see how it should be so what I did I marked my shoulder line I marked where my armhole is and I marked my hip width and what you do is you're gonna um, take your hip width 
as your widest point, as your, the width of your pattern. Uh, and I give it a little bit more, so I give it two centimeters extra uh, because then you have some width of your, for your fabric. So I'll go straight from the bottom going down to where the armhole should be. I mark that. And then I go straight up in the same line to the height where the shoulder would be. And then I extend that shoulder seam to that line. So make sure you mark the height of your um, armhole. Then you have this almost rectangle. This is where your um, just visible, yes, where your shoulder seam ends, and you just go that in just about a straight line. It doesn't really matter to the mid front. It doesn't have to be straight. It can be a curve. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna put uh, the band uh, to the edge to uh, adjust it. So make it any length you like. I try to make mine 70, but I don't know if my fabric is enough. But you can, as I said, also make it any length you like, of course. Just extend your uh, pattern and um, then you're good to go. And for the back, this will be the same. The only thing will be that you want your uh, back neckline to have that curve that your basic pattern has. And if you don't have a basic pattern, just curve the back a little bit off like this. Is it visible? Yeah. You see? So that is your pattern for the front and the back. And then the sleeve is even simpler. Measure how uh, wide, how deep your uh, armhole is. Mine is 22. So you make half of your sleeve, but now you can also uh, cut your sleeve in whole. So 2 times 22 is 44. I want to make my sleeve 40 centimeters. That is just about halfway my underarm because uh, because the shoulder is hanging more down. Uh, your sleeve doesn't start at your shoulder but a little bit lower. Uh, and I don't want it really to be on my wrist, so just about here you can cut it, uh, you can make it longer or shorter when you're wearing it and you see oh it's going too much down because of the shoulder seam, then you make it less. Um, what you can do is you can make this also straight down, but then you have a rather wide um, sleeve, so what I usually do is put my measuring tape around my underarm and see how wide I want my sleeve to be. This is 40, if I take 44, so going straight down, then I have 44 on the end. I think that is a little bit too much, so I, uh, I'll take it just about 35, I think, 40. No, I'll make it 40. So I just go a little bit in with my um, seam, side seam, going 40 down, and then just a little bit going in. So that it's a little bit smaller on the wrist, on the end of your sleeve. But again, make it however you want. That is the nice thing when you make your own part pattern. If you want it more wide, make it wider. If you want it more smaller, make it smaller. Just any way you like. And even if you're not sure, then make it bigger than you think. You can also always make it smaller when you try it on and you think, mm, this is not it. You can just tape it in some more. So this is your pattern, very simple, very easy. The band that we're going to make all around the front going to the back, um, that will be just a plain strip of fabric um, of, um, I think I will ma make mine four centimeters wide, so the strip will be doubled, so eight centimeters wide with seam allowance, 10 centimeters, and then measure how long this whole strip will be along the front to the back and down to the front on the other side and that's the band of uh, the strand of fabric that you will need of 10 centimeters wide so pretty simple and then for the fabric that i had i showed you in the former video but it wasn't clear to see so i'm gonna try now to zoom in on it uh, so that i make visible how beautiful my fabric is and i will get a little bit less Right. Now you can see it. See it has these old golden stripes 
and the fabric still looks very bright but it is more beige more yellow and I cannot really adjust the brightness so that you can really see how it is and of course you can make it of any fabric you like it doesn't have to be chiffon you can also take a uh, thin uh, cotton or thin linen or uh, whatever you like I was debating if I want to use the chiffon or uh, a nice cotton that I had which was even stretchy but uh, I, as you know I really like chiffon so I took this one but take whatever fabric you like it doesn't matter as long as it, as it is thin and water flowy it also can be stretchy but it doesn't have to be and when you're sewing with chiffon um, make sure because the fabric is very uh, shifting on top of each other uh, cut just single layers or when you want to cut double layers make sure you pin the um, selvage together and now I also pinned my fold together because I also have stripes so the stripe must be really straight up uh, otherwise it, it looks funky so now what you do make in the shoulder seam just a small pleat just of a centimeter uh, on both the front parts and on the both the shoulders of your back part When sewing with chiffon, make sure you have a new sharp needle in your machine because then it uh, sews the best. Um, I'm going to sew with my serger, but you can also just do this with your normal sewing machine um, and with a straight stitch and then finishing with a zigzag stitch. No problem at all. Now that you have your shoulder seam attached, uh, the easiest to do because we have just a straight line uh, sleeve is to sew first your sleeves on and you do that by folding the side seam open and then just put your sleeve on top of that and then you don't have to mess with armholes or whatever, it's just straight lines now and that's very easy to sew so mark where the middle of your sleeve is and align that with your shoulder seam and then pin on your sleeve put that pin exactly on your shoulder seam Now we're going to lay the blouse flat uh, with the uh, one side up so the white sides are together the front part is on top of the back part and the sleeve is just the way it should be and then we're going to sew the whole side seam and then exactly also the sleeve seam the under sleeve seam and we do that for both sides then we have the whole top together uh, sewn down going to make the strand that goes all around the uh, mid front and the neckline and I sewed two uh, strands together because otherwise I didn't have enough to go all the way around so my uh, seam where I sewed them together goes in the mid back so I fold them together and then I sew them together on right sides together this right side of my uh, strand to the right side of my top and I have to mark where my middle is so fold the side seams together and then you get exactly your mid back and that's where if you need to make a seam in your band then you should put it in the, by, uh, in the mid back that's the nicest and then you're gonna pin this piece of fabric all the way around from the mid back seam uh, the mid front seam of the left part of your top to the right part so all the way around pin it down and then sew it on 
and what will help if your uh, fabric is constantly curling up on you like these edges is put your hands underneath and then you can uh, uh, push out the part of the under uh, fabric uh, so that it is flat with the top fabric because it's very annoying when constantly this is curling up when you want to uh, put it down so I'm gonna first align them together flat pin it together and then I'm gonna pin it on because otherwise it's too difficult to get it uh, get it nice so put your hands under and push them flat from underneath so that's a good trick when you are struggling with this because I'm really now struggling with this kind of chiffon it's obvious more cheap chiffon and then it's not really working with you so you need to find some tricks to get it done easily and if it's still not working on you iron it down take your whole strand and iron it flat if you need to with a cloth in between so we're almost done the only thing we have to do is to hem uh, the bottom and to hem the sleeves and I made two loops uh, for the belt to um, go through and just by taking a rectangle of fabric and folding it together and sewing it down uh, and um, easiest to do if you want to know where to put them is put it on and see where your waist is and there mark and pin, uh, pin this on and then sew it on just to some straight stitch on top and on the bottom and um, the hemming we do the same as with the chiffon dress uh, take your iron fold it in just a couple of millimeters as, as little as you can two three millimeters uh, steam it down it is really a crisp uh, seam do it all the way uh, around and then go for a second time fold that in again and then again press it down and pin it down and that's the easiest way to uh, make a nice walled hem with chiffon you really need your iron to press it down otherwise it, it will slip on you and you don't get a nice uh, hem so This is the kimono and how it turned out and there are different ways you can uh, wear it I like to wear it like this I have this satin uh, belt that I tied in the back as I had with the, the black one uh, I think that looks really nice what I like most I think is by tying it because I don't have the longer version I have the shorter version is tying it in the front and then you have just a loose fitting kimono to put over something and I think that it looks really nice you should take this then away I think I think it's nicer when the second band is not in there um, and of course you can just uh, make it closed with the second band shut down and also that is very nice I think it's very versatile I, I really like these um, very thin fabrics for kimonos because it is not that um, uh, thick and warm but it gives you some warmth because of the uh, sleeves and I like that very much in uh, in summer this is when it like this when it's closed up also very nice I think and uh, I think it's very versatile piece um, I said when I was I don't know what I was doing I said that this was um, more cheap uh, chiffon um, I was wrong uh, it felt so soft and also now it feels almost that you are wearing nothing um, it happened to be a uh, silk chiffon and I should have known because I am certified a fabric specialist and I should know when I feel a fabric what it is but I didn't notice it and um, I uh, thought it, it was uh, not such a good uh, quality because it was very slippery but just because it was silk it was very slippery and I tested it and so I found out it was silk so I have now a very nice silk kimono <laughs> 
and I like it very much. I gave you some tips and tricks uh, during the, the procedure. Uh, I will put them in the list uh, after this clip uh, so that you can find it back when you want to show us from what is uh, important to, uh, to do and to uh, watch for. And then it's not that difficult to uh, to sew with chiffon. And um, well, I'm very uh, happy. I like it very much. I'm happy that I have now a shorter kimono. All the other ones are all knee length, and that's very nice too. But sometimes it's just a little bit too much. And this one is, uh, I think, very pretty, very nice. Also, give you a more close-up look. You can see how it looks. It's a very nice piece. And I don't know if you can see the golden stripe, but that really that makes it really nice and really sophisticated. So this is the kimono. And so for next week's video, I have this really nice white fabric. It is a polyester, um, but it is a, a crepe. And that means it has uh, some sort of stripes in it, but as a structure. So not a visible stripe, but a structure stripe. And it's very uh, sheer, but it's not really thin. It's not that flowy as a chiffon. It has more grip to it, and that's a crap. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next week. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Please share them with other people. It would be really nice if we got some more people into sewing, because it's such a nice craft, and it's so nice that you can make uh, things uh, yourself uh, in your own sizing. So uh, please share my videos and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!